Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this bowling ball. Okay, so let's begin. Press file here, or you can just press Ctrl N and general. Okay, not 2D, not sculpting or anything, just general. Don't save because I don't need it. Now we get this one. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the light and the camera. I'm gonna let me enable the screencast key so you know what I'm tapping and what I'm clicking. Okay. Now you can see it over there. I'm pressing N, pressing B. See, you can see it. I press. Okay. And now for this one, the default cube. Well, most people delete, but actually it's very useful. So don't delete. Uh, I'm going to press uh, Control 3, I believe, to enable the subdivision surface. E to 3. Okay. If you see it right here, I see the viewport. I press 3 and it goes to 3. Okay. So, okay. So now let's apply Control A. Or you can just go here. Or you can just go here, control A. No. Not that one. Control A. No. The, the cursor must be over here, I believe. You know what? I may I don't want to make it hard, so just go to here, okay? And hit apply. Okay, so we get over there. It's not a bowling ball yet, because we need to delete some faces. So I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna go to edit mode by pressing tab, press three to go in face select. Uh select this one. Doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter where you want to delete because, well, bowling ball is around. So, yeah, don't think too much. Just select this, this, and this. You can select like this, this, and this, or whatever you want. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to go stick to this, this, and this. Okay, now we get that one. Delete that face, not the vertices or the edge. We don't need the face. Okay, and now it's almost like a bowling ball, but it's not yet. Because we're gonna add, we're gonna again add the subdivision surface again. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure this one's selected. Go to modify. Actually, you can just press Control Three, Two, One, or whatever. But I'm gonna go here. Add the modifier subdivision surface. Okay, increase the level viewport to three. If you want it to be four, then that's fine. If your PC is quite powerful, <laughs> I'm gonna go three would do. Okay, there. Now it's not enable the shade smooth. We should go something like that. Okay. Now it's almost like a bowling ball, but wait. Inside, well, it's way too thin. It looks like a, well, a toy something. Increase the solidifier for now. Okay. There's the solidifier. Go to the thickness. You can go over there, or you can just go over there from the inside or the outside. I'm going to go for the inside. Okay. Something that's like mm, that don't don't need to be that long because well if it's too long our thumb our finger might not fit I mean not reach each other or whatever <laughs> so yeah look at that that's a bowling ball but wait we got one problem see this yes that's one it's easy to fix that okay let's go to here the object that has property go to the normal and enable all the smooth see the magic. Look at that. Oh, very cool, right? Actually, we have a problem over there from this one. That's because we are the subdivision surface, I believe. So, but don't think that much, okay? So, yeah, look at that. The bowling ball. It's not very visible about this one the, over here. The, this one is not very visible. So, don't think too much about it, okay? So, once you're satisfied, apply all this to solidify, Control A. Make sure the cursor, okay, selected this one, and the cursor must be here. Control A to apply. There we go. See, see what I mean? <laughs> Got that lot of topology, but a lot of smoothness is better. So before I add a pane, I'm going to select all, press M, and merge by distance. The reason I did that, because maybe we have doubles, so we need to avoid that one, okay? And now we can begin shading. Select the object, shading. What color you like? White, blue, green, purple, pink. Nah, whatever. I'm gonna go with black. Something blackish, but not too black. Yeah, maybe blackish. And the specular. I don't need the metallic, but the roughness I need to decrease. Because bowling ball is shining, you know? But not too, but not like this. Maybe they are like this if the person is still very good at cleaning at it. Specular, 
Well, you don't want to be like that. Okay, this would not have any reflection. Increase the speckler. If you want, go to one. Whoa, look at that. Let's go to one, okay? Don't be afraid. Sometimes you can adjust anything that depends on your liking. Well, this is my liking. Okay. Now let's add some roughness. Just a little bit, guys. I'm going to just add a bump vector, okay? The bump. Zoom. The normal to the normal. Oh, let me go over there. And over there. Shift A to add. Oh, Shift A to add another. Well, not another. The, the shader, okay? Not shader. Hey, the texture, texture. So, anything you like, guys. Anything you like. I'm going to try. Uh, maybe I'm going to try the wave now. Maybe I think I'm going to try Vornoi. So, okay. Now we've got the Vornoi over there. The distance or the color. It's up to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose the distance to the height. Oh my gosh, that's very cool. Looks like a weird chandelier or something, uh, or whatever. <laughs> but we don't need that. Like that. Increase that. I'm just trying this, okay? Don't think too much. Mm, it doesn't do much. Oh, I don't mean about the tree over there. And then I think I'm going to delete the Vernoi. I'm going to use the wave now. Let's hope this works. Oh, this the string to one. Oh my gosh, look at that. What happened there? <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, no. The wave, no. Maybe it's better just to go stick to the noise now. <laughs> the noise is better. Okay, don't worry about something it looks like that. Because we're gonna adjust this one. Scale, anything, up to you, whatever. That's what I'm, going. I'm just gonna increase it based on my liking. Detail, up to you. I'm gonna go to super rough there. And the roughness, well, I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be like, oh, look at that. Something like that. Rockish -ish shape. The most important part is the string, okay? Decrease the string, but you don't want something like, like that. That's a rock. Decrease the string, okay? You just need a little bit there. No, no not there. It's just a little bit. Maybe 50. <laughs> that looks like a ball bearing. So I'm going to decrease it to. Uh, uh, point zero ten. Yeah, we still have that. Uh, is that a little bit? Still looks like a metal, you know. Maybe I'm gonna decrease the roughness. And sure, that looks like a metal now. Okay. Yeah, that would do. It's just a little bit, but you can see the detail. Now, I think it's way too shiny, so I'm gonna decrease the roughness. Just like that. Okay. There we go, guys. And look at that. That is our bowling ball there. Okay. Okay. So that's how I make the bowling ball, guys. So what you can see here, this is the one that we made. And this was, uh, it's a copy, but it has no texture or whatsoever. I just paint it white. Okay. So yeah, it's fun to do and it's a good way to learn for beginner. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do, we'll find out on the next video. Okay, bye now.